Hey folks, Dave at Creative Craft House to show you another new puzzle, one of our own designs. It's called a Dime Dilemma, or the Ten Cent Challenge, or maybe the Ten Cent Terror, depending on uh, your, your situation. Uh, the goal uh, is to get this dime, which I've put off to the side, so it will come unsolved, to get this dime and put it in there. It is not so easy. This is uh, somewhat related to our ten penny puzzle, which of course uses ten pennies in the same kind of concept in a square base, but this is much more difficult. It has somewhat of a mathematical basis in that if you start it with the one and call that area one, then the number two would be two times the area of number one, number three, which is the dime, three times the area, number four, four times the area, so the pieces are getting larger in that proportion. Though I, I did I did slightly alter the pure mathematics of the concept to take up what is called any uh, rattle room, and the, the number one, the number four, and number ten are slightly larger than the, than the math theory behind the puzzle. These are all laser etched, the numbers in um, and on the frame, so they'll last forever. We use nice uh, alder, or this is alder and maple. I may vary the woods, although I'll use two contrasting woods, and this is typically what it will be. Uh, the, the base here, the bottom of the base is floorboard, so it's scratch resistant, and it's got a nice uh, water resistance, got a nice uh, heft to it, too. Okay, uh, I would challenge you, can you solve this in five minutes? We haven't had anybody here that's been able to do it. Um, so it'll be interesting. Uh, the only one, only one solution, it took over 20 minutes. So, as I said, reasonably difficult, but I think great fun. Anyone can attempt it. I think a good desk, coffee table, um, kind of uh, puzzle, or maybe even a bar puzzle. All right, mate right here in our Hudson, Florida shop, and I uh, hope it's something you can enjoy. This is Dave at Creative Craft House.